Go ahead, Senator Monsieur. My question is for public safety, and it uh, deals with assault-style weapons. You indicated that uh, there's $10.5 million that are earmarked uh, for the design of a program, a buyback program for uh, assault-style uh, prohibited weapons. I'd like to know if you know how many there are of those, how many of those weapons are in circulation? We know ahead of time that people who are going to be bringing in their weapons will probably be people who uh, just use them for entertainment purposes and not the people who are going to be using the people who are use them for other uh, purposes won't want to turn them in. So do you have any information on that? Well, thank you for the question. Indeed, we have $10.5 million in the supplementary estimates for the development of the buyback program. With respect to the specific question on the number of weapons in circulation, I would uh, ask uh, Greg, uh, my colleague, uh, to, to elaborate because he is in charge of that uh, buyback program. Merci beaucoup, Patrick. Thank you very much, Patrick, and thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. This is an excellent question. The number of uh, registered uh, firearms that meet the definition um, as outlined in the May 9th, or 2020 order in council, um, that number is 144,116. Uh, that number is uh, provided by the Canadian Firearm Program at the RCMP. Um, that's an approximation. Um, of these 110,292 were former classified as restricted and therefore registered. Uh, this represents approximately 80% of restricted rifles uh, in Canada, the majority of which are in, uh, in urban areas as well as uh, the bigger provinces in Ontario, Alberta and British Columbia. The remaining approximately 34,000 firearms um, were previously classified as non-restricted and this is purely an estimate uh, since non-restricted firearms do not need to be registered and therefore uh, their total number in Canada is, is unknown. Uh, that estimation is based on uh, open source uh, records from 2012, which have been increased by 25% to account for observable trends in market growth. Um, uh, another approximate, well, included in that number is approximately 11,200 firearms, um, approximately 8% of the estimated total, which are uh, in the hands of uh, firearm businesses. Okay, and thank you. And how many do you uh, um, anticipate uh, will use the program? Because at uh, 10.5 million, you don't necessarily have enough money to uh, buy lots. No, on the fair, that's uh, absolutely correct. The, the, the $10.5 million is to continue the development um, of, of, the, of the program itself, uh, to advance the design. Um, as well as explore different options for uh, for implementation. Um, the the money is essentially broken down in by uh, or outlining 5.7 million or so um, to, uh, to to continue the development of the program. This includes um, uh, the development of uh, of the pricing scheme for businesses and um, and uh, individuals. Um, options for uh, implementation that will be uh, put before cabinet for consideration um, most particularly uh, ad advancing the definition of uh, definition phase of an information management uh, IT solution a case management and, and portal solution uh, pending Treasury board approval of course um, we're advancing uh, we're, it will enable the advancement of engagement uh, with provincial territorial and municipal uh, uh, governments and, and police uh, services uh, in, in, for uh, implementation options in those uh, in those different jurisdictions, uh, advancing different communications and, and information products as well. Um, well. Sorry, but when do you anticipate uh, the program to be uh, to be up and ready to uh, to to do the buyback? Well, the program continues to to be developed. Um, we are uh, putting options for consideration before government. So you don't have a date when it's going to be implemented and people are going to be coming to you for, for the buyback? Not at this stage, no. Okay. Uh -huh. Hey, thank you, Senatrice. Uh, 